Leah Rabushkin hopes to learn her husband's fate by the end of this week. To tell you the truth, basically this whole story has destroyed him, has wiped his name off the face of this earth. He's destroyed my kids. I mean, this whole story has destroyed, destroyed our kids. When you read the media reports, you're like, is this the same person that I've been living with for the last 28 years? With her husband facing life in prison, Leah tries her best to smile and stay strong for her children. We have 10 all together. We're trying to distract them a little bit and, and you know, they enjoy their time when they can speak to Shalom. But uh, it's, it's really hard, it's really hard. We're doing the best we could do, you know. We're trying to stay focused and, and uh, instead of, you know, just lying in bed and, and uh, groping around in the misery of it. She says having Shalom gone has been especially hard on her son with autism. He's always been very close to Shalom and uh, Shalom actually had, you know, uh, a very close bond with him and, and even today he's, you know, every night he calls on the phone to say night prayers with him before he goes to sleep and, and it's been really, really hard on him. Leah, now practically a single mom, looks back on that day in May of 2008 when her world changed as immigration agents rushed in. I think a lot of lives changed that day. I got a phone call from my um, then 16-year-old son. He said, Ma, you're not going to believe what's going on out here. There's like these black cars everywhere. They're just like a, a, a parade of them. Nobody could understand what was this all about. It was like this scene from this, this movie or something. You know, nobody even imagined what it could be or what it was all about. That day not only rocked the Rabushkin family to the core, but shook the entire town of Postville. A lot of change has come over the community. Stores closing down all over Main Street and, and um, people leaving, relocating. Everyone's trying to pick up the pieces. They're, you know, um, it, it's not easy. You know, there's not, there's not too much um, opportunity. Now her husband remains behind steel bars, awaiting to hear the judge's decision. What has gone on here has just been unbelievable so I, I feel that we've lost so much already the whole business I mean we have nothing financially we have his name is 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 mud what else do we need to experience here the stuff that's that that has happened has brought a lot of pain to a lot of people and um, and our hope is is that we can you know uh, pick up the pieces and move on the full story will 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 eventually get out there and in the meantime Leah holds her head high for her children and her faith. Knowing that there's going to be a day when this whole thing is going to be over and, you know, we'll be back together. Brittany Hibbs, CBS 2 News.